I was debating on doing a video about the James Charles Sisters tour because I have a lot of opinions about this and I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best. My promise to you is I'm gonna do my best to have a balanced opinion on it. But for the most part, I think all of it is a little bit ridiculous. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I am absolutely fascinated with YouTube culture and just humanity as a whole. And I like to look at it, analyze it, and just, I don't know, talk about my opinions on it. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So, James Charles, oh, James Charles been in the news. Like, it was even on Philip DeFranco today and I'm like, oh dang, like this is like blowing up. So any of you who don't know what's going on, um, James Charles had a very exciting announcement, something that he's been working on for two years, he says, and everybody's like, oh my God, what is this, right? And he is finally going on a tour. This is not something new. Many YouTubers have gone on tours. Many YouTubers have done meet and greets. I think one of my favorites, one of my favorite videos is the Drew Gooden video where he actually went to the Jake Paul tour, all right? like. And, ah, oh God, like, please bear with me. This is just my opinion. I don't want to step on any toes, okay? But just, I don't know, like, YouTuber tours, I look at them, I'm like, oh, man. Like, here in Las Vegas, um, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning, I'm not sure if they already came or they're coming, but they're, they're coming to a casino near me. And, like, my girlfriend and I, like, we drive past, like, that sign, like, all the time, and I'm just like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do, right? And anyways, like first, first I wanna jump into this before I, I get myself into trouble with my unpopular opinions. But anyways, there's the pricing, okay? There's the pricing for this thing. And there's different tiers and James Charles just put this up on Twitter um, because, you know, he had some backlash about the pricing and everything and, you know, and, and there's some, some complaints about the pricing. But here's what I just hope everybody understands. And first, I will say this. James Charles, dude loves to make money. That dude loves making money. He loves money so much, but I ain't gonna hate on him. He's a young entrepreneur trying to do his own thing and, you know, have the lifestyle that he wants to support. Like, he, there's him, there's Jeffree Star and everything. Like, good for you. Like, I, I encourage people to be entrepreneurial. Um, I Like, my biggest dream in life for a long time has just been able to work for myself. And because of all of you lovely people who support the channel and watch my videos or you're on Patreon or whatever, um, or sometimes you like, you know, you've got some of the books that I've written and everything, like, I appreciate you. You've helped me um, make my dream come true. So I'm not gonna knock that, but dude loves money, okay? <laughs> and, and like, here's the thing. When it comes to the pricing, because like people are like, okay, general admission isn't too bad. Then there's like a few different VIPs, right? And then there's the most highest one, we'll, which we'll get to in a second. But in the Twitter post he just made, he talked about how 85% of the tickets are going to be general admission. All right, cool. So this is very limited. It's very, very limited, okay? But here's, here's the thing. Does, am I the only one? Am I the only one who remembers what happened when James Charles did a free appearance, it looked a little something like this. <laughs> Not only did it look like that on the inside, but there was like a major traffic jam in the city. And I think Philip DeFranco discussed this very, very well, like just in the idea of you know, supply and demand. Philip DeFranco, he is a businessman as well. So I get it. And like, I don't think, I don't think enough people look at it from the business aspect of it. Like, if if he made, if he made it like the highest level of VIP, if he made that too affordable, like it would get sold out like that. And then people would probably complain about the amount of tickets that were available because now they can actually afford it. So in that idea, like they have to kind of raise the price to limit the number because when the dude does like free meet and greets, like, like cities like get messed up. Like this was on the news over in England. You know what I mean? 
But here's here's the thing too, like I, I've seen the argument a lot that James Charles has a younger audience and all these other things and everything like that. And like, I don't know, I am of the belief and I'm a parent, I'm a parent of a 10 year old son. Like so many things fall on the parents and that's my opinion. Too many people blame other people like, oh my God, James Charles, you know you have a young audience. Now your young audience is gonna bug their parents. Like my son would literally ask me once and that'd be it because the second time I would get a little bit more stern with him. Like I just, I'm not of this belief of like, listen, you need to do everything to make parents have easier conversations with their children. Like I just, I, I really feel that I, that idea is ridiculous. I personally feel that we live in a world where we try to justify the lack of accountability for as many ways as possible. And I am not a fan of that. Like. I am somebody who comes, you know, from a, uh, a background of addiction recovery where I had to realize like all of my addiction problems, they were my fault. Despite my childhood and everything like that, I'm not gonna dive too far deep into that in this video, but part of my recovery is learning to have like personal accountability, you know what I mean? I can't control all the things that my kid's gonna see or watch or want or whatever, but I control how I call, have that conversation with them. Now, the other argument that's come up is that other other YouTubers have done things like cheaper. And and I get that, but at the end of the day, you know, the dude can set whatever prices he wants. And if people aren't showing up, the price is too high. But he did mention that he has a whole team that he has to pay and everything like that. But like, here's the thing, like nobody is forcing you to go. Like you don't have to go, kids don't have to go, nobody has to go, I don't have to go. Now the second half of this video is a little, something that might, you know, be a little bit unpopular. And here, here's the thing. I've mentioned this in a video just the other day. I think the one I did about Drew Gooden. Like whatever makes you excited, whatever makes you passionate in life, you do you, baby. You do you. But like, I believe that should be something that's a little bit more fulfilling, a little bit more long lasting. And I just am not a fan of the idea of paying a massive amount of money to see a YouTuber. Like, like I, I, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't click for me. Like I remember being a kid, some of you saw my Buffy the Vampire Slayer video about that embarrassing story from when I was a kid and I get that, but like, I really feel that we live in this world where we idolize certain people way too much, like way too much. And that's just, that's just my opinion. All right, you may not agree with it, but I can't, I cannot think off the top of my head one person on planet Earth who I would be willing to pay $500 to see or meet. You know what I mean? Like, I, the most nervous I ever got, and I don't get nervous meeting just about anybody, the most nervous I got was when I got to ask Gary Vaynerchuk a question at um, Vid Summit last year. That was the most nerv nervous I got, but like, he provides me with a lot of value, a lot of motivation, and things that are like kind of long lasting. And I guess, I guess people could argue that for James Charles, like maybe James, James Charles has impacted their life in a positive way and everything like that. But still, still like $500, like yo, dude makes videos. Like the dude makes videos, you can watch those, you can play those. Like, and again, I'm not hating, like I love going to concerts. I absolutely love going to concerts. I've been going since I was a teenager. I'm gonna go see Taking Back Sunday this next month. I love seeing bands live, but I have a certain, personal cap on the amount I will pay for a concert ticket. Like there is a certain amount that I am going to pay. And same thing with it, when it goes to like comedians or other shows and things like that. I'm just like, and maybe, maybe I'm just a cheap, cheap dude. Maybe that's part of it. But like, again, I think this all circles back to like our value systems, what we value in this life and how we idolize people. And it's like, and it's like for what? And I'm not saying James Charles is a bad person. Like that's not what I'm saying. Like I don't really have an opinion on him or his character, right? But he's just a dude, just a guy, right? Like it's not like this is a guy who like cured cancer or like saved like starving children or like, saved animals from a burning building or anything like that. So I just really think this whole thing is being blown way out of proportion. It's like, James Charles, if you wanna go on tour and if you wanna jack up the prices, 
you do you. If people wanna pay those prices, you do you. It is none of my business. And I, again, I just kinda of disagree with the argument that, oh my God, now these kids are gonna bug their parents. Like you guys, whether or not James Charles goes on tour with high prices or not, kids are gonna bug their parents. And that's just the brutal honesty. My kid bugs me for V-Bucks on the daily in Fortnite. And it's up to me to say no. All right, so I don't think putting the responsibility on James Charles to like manage people's children is, is, is like a really good expectation. All right, but anyways, anyways, I just, I had to talk about this. I wanted to talk about this. It's been all over, you know, uh, the news and YouTube lately. So thought I'd talk about it. But let me know your thoughts about this subject down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And what do you think about idolizing like YouTubers and just people in general and holding them, you know, in this godly status where it's worth hundreds of dollars to just meet them for however long it is, right? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. Again, you help me live out my dream of being my own boss and just kind of doing my thing. All right, so thank you again so much and I'll see you next time.